Hello gorgeous ones, this is Dr. V. Now whether you are new to this channel or you are a member of our amazing community, I want to welcome you and let you know that what we do here is love readings so that you can gain clarity and confidence to make really empowered decisions in your journey to love and union with your connection. Now, it doesn't matter if it is your twin flame, soulmate, immortal beloved, or sacred union. The only thing that matters is the love that you feel in your heart. I designed this reading based on the feedback that I have been getting from many of you in this community. So we're going to go in deep on what are things that you and your immortal beloved are struggling with right now and how can we get some real, open up some real clarity here. Okay, so let's start the reading. Dear Spirit, what is the divine masculine struggling with at the current time? What is the divine masculine struggling with currently? Now, what I'm feeling for the Divine Masculine is that this is his overall energy in terms of his struggle, and that is wisdom, okay? There's something in the Masculine that we are aligning with today that he is feeling a lack of self-confidence, as in it's like he wishes that he was better at his relationship, the most important relationship in his life, which is his connection with you. I'm feeling that he just doesn't feel that he is wise enough. You know, like it's like he kicks himself because he makes what he thinks in his mind are stupid mistakes, you know? And, you know, I think that they have done a lot of research on this, everything from the book called uh, Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Venus, which is a very old book, but even from that point on to many other studies that have been done about the ways in which men and women think differently, right? They think differently, they process differently, they behave in different ways. And it is very, very biologically based. It's very DNA. You know, it's in the fabric of our souls and our biology. And so the better that we can understand what those characteristics, those attributes are, the better that we can come together, right? The better that we can have a relationship that, of course, is not going to be perfect, but is going to be satisfying. And where we feel that when things do go wrong, like when shit does hit the fan, which it will, <laughs> which it obviously will, that we can work through those things, that we have the skills, we have the understanding, we have the perspective to work through that. And so what I'm feeling from the masculine is that he feels that he is lacking in this. And it is definitely something that he wants to work on because look at this. What he is struggling with right now is this six of cups. So I'm feeling that um, many of you are in some sort of a separation, but it is just for the time being, as in, you know, you may be in some sort of a situation where you've had issues going on and you're not communicating or you've decided to take a break for now. And so he is feeling very nostalgic okay he's really thinking about the memories that you have shared together and so he's in a very warm dreamy nostalgic kind of place when it comes to his feminine 
and his relationship. And of course, I use the term divine masculine and feminine as energies. Please do use them as they work for your situation. So he is feeling very warm and nostalgic right now. He is struggling with the memories that he has of you and your relationship. Because see, look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Ten of Cups. So definitely, okay, there have been some strong memories where he has felt um in and look at this i really like the way this is shown here it is the card of complete emotional fulfillment with your partner okay so he has definitely if you have been questioning that if he ever felt this with you, if he felt truly fulfilled, if he felt truly um, united and at one in this connection, then yes, he definitely did. And that is why he is nostalgic for it. And he is feeling that this connection was definitely part of your sacred journey together. And it has really helped him to a certain degree find out who he really is. It's part of his identity, right? It's part of him growing growing as a man and as an individual and so he feels that the struggle comes from look at this this king of coins in reverse so it's like he feels that he hasn't been grounded and practical i'm feeling that this masculine feels that he did things or behaved in ways that were beneath how he sees himself. And so I feel like he's really taken a hit in his own um, self-esteem, uh, in his own self, in his view of himself. He feels that he was behaving in ways that were not to, not really showing you what a man he could be. Um, I'm feeling that he felt that he let you down in behaving in ways that he is now ashamed of, that he is not proud of. Um, it's almost like he showed you sides of himself that he wished he didn't have, <laughs> you know? And and it's it's interesting because at some point, those sides came out those sides. There was something in this connection that triggered those aspects of himself as well. So it's like on the one hand, he very much felt this fulfillment. But on the other hand, there was something in this connection which brought out sides in him that were not practical, that were not grounded, that were not realistic. And this is a masculine that kind of prides himself on being the kind of guy who, um, is very comfortable in his own skin. Like he's good with being himself. Um, he doesn't like to be out of control. He likes to be in control of who he is and how he is perceived. And so he's very bewildered. I'm getting a very bewildered energy. It's like, he's kind of like, what? <laughs> how could I have said those things? How could I have done those things? Who was that? Because that certainly was not me, right? This is the king of pentacles in reverse. That was not me. I don't even know who the heck that was. What the heck? You know, where am I lacking here? What was I doing? Why didn't I get it? And so he really felt that he behaved in these ways that then made him put up walls around himself. Okay, because he was really embarrassed. I'm, I'm getting a, a, some sense of humiliation here, like personal humiliation, not humiliation that he felt from the outside world, but humiliation that he felt for himself, like a kind of shame that he felt in his own behavior. Okay, look at this. You brought out the best in me. I came alive in your presence. Okay, so definitely there's something in him that so felt this feminine so felt this connection and he felt so good in it, but something happened that made him go in a different direction. And so what he is struggling with right now is how can he bring himself back to who he thought he was? He wants a breakthrough, a reinvention. He wants to come back and find himself. And he feels that he has lost 
those good aspects of himself that he was when he was with you, feminine. Okay, he feels that in this loss that he feels in being away from you because, you know, you may have rejected him. You know, I am feeling that, you know, to me, this is a real connection to a lot of the things that some of you in this community have said, which I really, really value in you. Like I really have to applaud you for because many of the feminines in this community have been saying that, look, I didn't like the way he acted. I didn't like the harsh words that he said to me. I didn't like the way he was behaving. It's almost that he was taking things out on me that weren't even uh, my problem. Like I didn't do this, right? But he took it out on me. And then what I find is that I'm the one who apologizes or I try to smooth things over or I try to make things better. And I'm sick of doing that. I'm not going to do that anymore. You know, I am just going to give him his space and he needs to feel the absence of me. He needs to feel that I am not just some doormat who is just going to, you know, lie there and let him walk all over me. And I am like, yes, you go, ladies. Absolutely. Just because somebody is your twin flame or your soulmate or, you know, the love of your life, it doesn't mean that they have, you know, some free pass to take out any of their frustrations or their negative emotions onto you or even to, you know, take out their resistance because, right, there are a lot of masculines and feminines in this world right now who are in a state of resistance, right? There's a lot of things in their life that they're resisting. And because of that, it brings out negative energy, negative emotions in them. And that is why they start feeling that they're not grounded anymore, right? They're in this, you know, pentacles in reverse. They're feeling like they're in a free fall, emotional free fall, where why can't they control their behavior? Why is their behavior so negative? And so definitely you guys who are experiencing this, you're experiencing this, you're seeing this, and you have decided that you are not going to be the person who is the punching bag here. You are not going to let that person, that masculine, take it out on you. And that is so empowering. I'm so proud of you guys for doing that. And I want you to know, for those of you who this resonates, he is feeling the absence, okay? He is feeling your absence. Look at this. He is hurting. <laughs> He's like, you know what? This is what I used to have. This is what I had. And I am the idiot that threw it away with my own actions. And that is why I need to freaking get with the program here. Where the heck is my wisdom? Where the heck is my understanding? I need to get this back. I need to get her back because I've been a jerk. <laughs> And I think, and definitely he realizes this because look at the nostalgia, six of cups. Wow. He wants this back because he knows he messed up. He knows he had something so good and he screwed it up. Well, this is great. This is great news, right? Better that they understand it. Better that they're aware that they're, than they're in the dark, still living in their ego and resistance, right? What is the masculine not seeing in his feminine right now that he needs to? What is he not seeing or understanding about who his feminine really is? And what is this situation or connection between the two of you? Oh, how beautiful. <laughs> Wow, look at this. So here it is, another card of the overall energy of what the masculine is currently struggling with in understanding his feminine and the situation. Like, what is he not understanding? He is not understanding that he really does need to practice 
full acceptance here. Look at this. Isn't this so beautiful? He, there is something in him. And I'm telling you, see, I feel that spirit is confirming this same feeling of resistance. Okay. That is what he is not un understanding is that there is some resistance in him that he keeps trying to control the situation or try to, he's trying to be the person in many ways where he is the final word and that's not right he needs to accept that until he realizes that this is a two-way street he's not the final authority he's not the final word on on this connection it is a two-way street it is an equal love contract between his feminine and him between you and him and so that is his main problem because see he's always trying to control he's always trying I'm, I'm not saying that he's trying to control you feminine but he's tr always trying to control himself and control situations around himself so as soon as he feels that he is um insecure this is where he goes to. His insecurity brings him to control. And so what I'm seeing though is that it's a combination of deservability issues and obviously, you know, masculine ego issues, which of course it's not just a masculine thing, right? Feminines also have ego issues. This is something we talk about a lot here, right? Because we know that ego always stands kind of in between ourselves and our greater clarity and expansion. So the more we can lower that ego, the more resistance falls away, the more acceptance comes into play and the more empowered we get. So what else is he struggling to understand about his feminine? Look at this. He needs to understand that you are the star in his life. And I think at some level he does, but it's that what happens is that he takes it for granted. This is also another very human quality, right? When we feel someone's absolute love for us, when we feel that they are accepting us, then sometimes because of, again, our own ego, our own levels of deservability, our own pride. We sometimes take the person that we love the most for granted in our lives. We tend to take things out on them. Again, this is this energy of I'm feeling that there may have been some frustrations that your masculine has been going through. Okay. Three of coins. Look at this. There may be certain frustrations in life that he has been going through and that he has taken out on his feminine, taken out on you, maybe in terms of maybe snapping at you, maybe having a bit of a temper problem, maybe lashing out um, his frustration on you, even though you have nothing to do with it. And so this is something that he really needs to understand, that you are not something to be taken for granted. Because see, this three of coins to me, is an indicator of two things. One, that he is struggling with something that has to do with his career and building up his wealth, finances, his level of respect in the world. So that's one thing. The other thing that he's also struggling with is that this requires teamwork. It is not something you do on your own. Three of Coins is all about doing something as a team, moving forward, letting your guard down. Okay, letting the walls come down and opening up and trusting your partner to work with you, trusting that they are not going to judge you, trusting that if you resist them, if you have resistance, it is only going to work against you. And that is something that he is struggling with right now that he needs to understand. It's like he understands it, but then he keeps going back. Like he keeps losing that understanding, you know? And when he does that, it's when he takes you for granted and he doesn't see you as the star that you really are in his life feminine. But one thing he does need to understand, and this is my interpretation of the star card because it's it is a major arcana card. It is a spiritual lesson. What he needs to understand 
about you, feminine, is that although you are the star of his life, if he chooses to resist and continue to push you away, the star is not something that is going to always stay near you. It is off in the horizon, right? It is something that is distant. You have to keep it in your sights. The star is not obligated to keep you in its sights. The star is not watching for you. You have to keep the star in your vibration. You have to look out into the heavens, into the light and Feel the star's energy, the star's light shining bright, guiding you, supporting you. And that is how he has to see you, his feminine, right? This is his struggle. And so see, the thing is, he does understand. And then what happens is that he gets into that deservability. I don't deserve you. <laughs> when he feels that he falls short, it's like, darn it. You know, I just don't deserve this wonderful woman. Look at me. I'm so undeserving. I need to stop with the control. And so see, 10 of pentacles. See, this is also part of his struggle. He very much wants it all with you, feminine. 10 of pentacles is the culmination of the energy of having every part of this life with your life partner that you really want. It's something that you just are so connected to at both the 3D and the 5D level. You want to build this life. He wants to build this life with you. He wants to have this purpose. It is his purpose. See, you possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love. I just love this so much. You know, this reading, I hope you're seeing this so far. It is so powerful. I'm just, you know, thank you, Spirit, for giving us so much divine guidance here. And I feel that it is really opening up a portal into these particular masculines today. Now, again, this is a general reading. It may not resonate for all of you, which is absolutely fine. But if you'd like to have specific guidance for your situation, then, then that's what a private reading with me would be for. So the link to that is in the box below if that resonates with you. But for those of you who this is your reading, wow, this is powerful stuff. The masculine is struggling right now with his purpose, okay? He needs to refine that purpose. It's like he knows what it is. He has this vision for the life that he wants to build with you, but because of some of these ups and downs that you have been having in the connection, sometimes he loses that sense of purpose. But what I'm feeling is that he is trying to get that back. He is trying to get that wisdom and acceptance back because look at this journal card. It's all about self-discovery. I love it. I think it's amazing. He is making the effort because he doesn't want to lose you. He knows that he's been rough. He's been annoying. He may be, you know, frustrating the heck out of you. You may be thinking he's a pain in my ass, man. He's like, the, he's on my last nerve. Okay. I can't take him anymore. He sees it. He feels it. If you don't think so, you're wrong. He feels it. And look what he's trying to do. He is trying to to accept and learn. Isn't this so beautiful? It's like he realizes that he is often full of resistance. He is not opening himself up. He is, you know, putting up walls. He is resisting you, resisting the connection, even though he knows that it is the ultimate fulfillment of everything that he wants. So he's kicking himself, but he is definitely on a mission to find his purpose again. Oh, wow. What insight. Spirit, thank you, thank you, thank you. What insight. Incredible. Okay, so let's pause here because I have an incredible affirmation for you today. I am doing it myself. I love it so much. And again, it is in complete confirmation with the way this reading has turned out already. So today's affirmation really focuses on the resistance that we all have as human beings, especially those of us who are going through 
a process of expansion and enlightenment and spiritual awakening as I know that you are because frankly, you would not be here in this community. You would not be part of this incredible collective of souls watching these readings if you were not experiencing a spiritual and love enlightenment right now. And that is why I'm so proud of you guys. You guys are amazing. So today I want you to think about how important it is for us all to drop our resistance, to live in flow, get into the flow state and everything will be easier. Life will just open up its magical doors to you. So today's affirmation is I live in flow. I live in flow every moment of every day because that is where life's gifts are. That is where the magic happens for me and the man I love, the masculine I love, the feminine I love, my twin flame soulmate, however which way you see them. So make sure you write in the comment box below and live it, feel it every day. I live in flow. Our next question for spirit is, what are the possible future energies of this connection now? Now that we know what the struggle is and the work that the masculine is doing to fix this, Wow. So here is the third card in our overall energy for the questions that we're asking in this reading, creation. I love this, guys. Did you see this? Look at the progression here. I want to show you because it really is magnificent. Look at, we started with wisdom, right? The masculine seeking wisdom to fix the situation. Him seeking acceptance to drop his resistance so that he can be deserving of you, so he can win you back from whatever these mistakes that he has made. And now look at this. Oh my God. Look at wisdom. Wisdom brings you to acceptance and acceptance gives you the power to create. Oh, what a beautiful bridge from state to state, from these spiritual states. This is incredible. So now look at this. The absolute potential for creation is right here with the strength, the seven, in cup, seven of cups in reverse, and this four of coins. Okay, so there's a bit of a issue going on here, which we're going to talk about. There's one issue going on here, but this is very interesting. So what I'm feeling here is that there is tremendous potential here for the creation of this connection, almost like a recreation, a rebirth of this connection. And it's going to be based on loyalty. Okay. Loyalty is going to be something very important here. Your reliability demonstrates your loving sense of devotion and consistency of being. So what I'm feeling here is that the masculine is definitely coming out of his confusion. The seven of cups in the upright form is the card of confusion, right? Not being able to make a decision, not knowing what to do, not knowing how to handle the situation. But see, he is coming out of that because he is building up his strength for sure. This is very, very positive. But see, what I'm seeing here is that you may want to be a little bit careful because there is some energy here about someone being possessive of him. This four of coins is an energy of possessiveness, okay? So for some of you, and this may not be for all of you, but for some of you, there is an issue here about his family or his friends or his environment or people in his environment who may be holding him back from this connection. So there is a bit of a mystery, a bit of a suspense going on here, but I'm feeling that this is not for all of you. This is for some of you. Some of you dealing with some issue of a third party who is 
trying to come in between this connection. Somebody who is trying to be possessive of your masculine. They're trying to hold him back. They're trying to win him to their point of view. Okay. So there's definitely something here and that might be posing some sort of a mystery. There may be some sort of a mystery as to how successful this person may be. Okay. So that is for some of you. But that's why I'm feeling that he's going to be able to make this decision though, okay? Even though there's something holding him back for some of these masculines, they're going to be able to come out of this confusion and have some clarity and it's going to be based on their strength and loyalty to you. They're going to have to show you. They're going to have to prove their loyalty. He's going to have to show that he is strong and loyal to his feminine because ultimately, who are you building a life with? You know, this is something that everybody needs to keep in mind. This 10 of pentacles energy does show legacy as in it does show that you have a full life. You have the children, the dogs and the family, right? The, the parents are also part of this this picture, this satisfaction of building a solid life. And so there is going to be choices made here where he is going to have to show his loyalty to the life that he wants to build with you. And he's going to have to show the other people in his life that just because he is strong and loyal to you, feminine, just because he loves you and wants to build a life with you does not mean that he will turn his back on or abandon the other aspects of himself. So I think that's something for, again, some of you who are going through this, he's going to have to show that he can be loyal to everyone, that there's a place for everyone in his life and in his heart. And just by choosing you doesn't mean he's turning his back on others, nor is he choosing them and turning his back on you. So that's something to be definitely aware of. But I feel that it's extremely positive that he is going to really find the strength within himself. For sure. He's going to find it. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. So then what is advice from spirit as you move forward? What is spirit's advice? Surrender comparisons with other people. Keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own strengths, attractiveness, and power. Okay, so I feel that, you know, it is very easy, especially when we are struggling. We look at other people and think, you know, why is it so easy for them? Why are they with the person they love? And so I'm feeling that what Spirit is trying to say is that this is also part of resistance. This is resistant energy. The more we compare ourselves and our results with those of other people and their results, the more we put resistance into our vibration and then we don't get what we want. We're like holding it back from us. And so this is just a gentle reminder. If you know you are feeling that it is very human, it's very natural, but please make sure that you're aware of it, you're conscious of it, and you shift out of that as you see it happening. Okay, guys, so I hope that this reading gave you some clarity. So all of the information that you need to book a personal reading with me, as well as for the three Oracle decks that I created for all of you who are on this journey to love is in the description box below. So as you, we end this reading, there are going to be two readings that pop up for you, which are recommended for you to watch. So if those resonate with you, then move on to those next readings and also tell me what you thought of those. So you know how much I love you, how much I believe in you guys, and I will see you all on the next video.